Good morning, you guys. Um, hair is still jank, but it's okay because we're doing a car talk. Car talk. Um, I don't know what that little jingle was, but you know, like I really wish there was a jingle for the car talk because I never like. I think it would be so cute if there's like a little car talk, car talk jingle. But yeah. So today's question was, what are your insecurities and what are you doing about them? So. I think that one of my main insecurities is that one that I'm not like not good enough like not good enough in the sense like my work isn't good enough like I'm not smart enough I'm not you know beautiful enough like just not overall being not good enough um I don't know why like it's always been like I always feel like I'm striving to be good enough like striving to make sure I get the best grade so then oh Tanisha's smart or striving to you know look better and feel better about myself because people always are like oh you're not gonna get a man looking like that or oh you know men don't like big girls or whatever so I feel like that is one of my biggest insecurities is like not being good enough and like it's multifaceted so it's like not being smart enough not being educated enough not um being beautiful enough like not being good enough for love like it's just like a whole bunch of like not being good enough and I don't know why like I feel like it kind of started probably like around middle school like maybe not looking good enough because like all my friends were dating but like none of the boys like me and so like that dampers your self-esteem like a lot like in middle school and like even high school like I still didn't feel like I was like going to find love or like I always felt like my grades weren't good enough so I was like really concerned that I wasn't gonna get into college so I I mean I had a 3.6 in high school which isn't bad I mean I got into almost every school I applied to and I applied to like 30 something schools because like I didn't know if like what I had been doing in high school was good enough to get into college and like I feel the same way still kind of about grad school like I don't know like I graduated Hampton with a 3.9 and I still don't know if I have enough experience or if my GPA is good enough to get into grad school like I just I don't know and like I still feel like not good enough so that's probably like my biggest insecurity is like not feeling good enough or not being good enough for school not being good enough for love not being good enough in general so what I'm doing to conquer that well not being good enough for like love and like how I feel about myself I'm working out and I'm trying to get healthier which I think it'll get better as the year goes on like once summer's over because like summer's full of cookouts and bad foods and stuff but I'm really like the month of July I'm going well after the 4th of July I'm going to really focus on my eating so I can lose more weight and start to feel better about myself like I'm starting to feel better about myself because like I'm strong like <laughs> At the gym, like my like the weights I use is like super high for me. Like I didn't realize how strong I was. And so like that is giving me confidence. And you know, I feel like once I hear back from some grad schools, I'll feel a little better about like not being smart enough or not feeling smart enough. And yeah, I think that's all I'm pretty much doing to conquer those things. Um Another, like I'm trying to think what else I said. Not feeling good enough about myself, not feeling good enough for love. And I feel like a part of the not feeling good enough for love is like, goes back to me not feeling good about myself and allowing other people's like perceptions of love and perceptions of what men want to hinder and like affect me. I feel like, I don't know. Like I've never had a problem with people finding me attractive. So I don't know why like I feel that insecurity, but I do. And so I feel like once I start feeling better about myself, it'll get better. My battery is about to die, so I'm about to real talk really fast. So once I feel like my um like once I start feeling better about myself, I'll probably stop feeling like I don't like I'm not good enough for love. And then once I start like once I get into grad school or start applying to grad school and taking my GRE, I'll feel better about um not feeling good enough to get into school. So 
that's the end of this car talk what are some things that you guys are insecure about that you would be willing to share in the comments and what are you doing about them because i feel like insecurities are things that are conquerable and you can conquer your insecurities just like i'm trying to conquer mine it'll take time because it took time for the insecurities to grow so it'll take time for you to cut them down like cutting down a big tree and i hope you guys all have a great great rest of your day i love you and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out